So there are many ways to transfer files across computers on your home network. One of the ways is to use FileZilla. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that today. Um, just do a search for FileZilla and it'll be the FileZilla-project.org site that comes up. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is download the server. There are two versions of FileZilla, the client and the server and we want to download the server product. Both are free downloads. On computer one, as you can see with the label in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to download the server product because we're going to serve up uh, files from that computer and then we're going to use a client to connect to that server uh, and that client will run on computer two. Uh, and that will pull files down from computer one. Uh, walking through the installer here, you can just decline the additional software that's going to be included in that package and just install the core FileZilla server components. You can accept the defaults on this. Um, there's an admin interface and that will run on port 14.14.7 and I'll explain that in a minute but just accept the defaults. When the installation is uh, finished, it will bring up a prompt to connect to the admin interface. Um, by default, you'll see the port is 14.14.7, which is what we set up before. Um, you can go into edit settings. The actual server itself will run on port 21 and that's fine. The other thing that we need to do is add users and for each user specify um, what folders we will share out. So I'll just create a user here and password protect that user. And then I'll specify which folders I want to share out for that particular user. So I'm going to grab the downloads directory to share out now there's a couple other settings that we have to make on the server computer You know, one thing that we need to find out is what the IP address is for the server. So to do this, you can bring up the command line and type IP config, and you see it specifies the IP address, in this case as 10.0.0.7. So we'll copy that. The other thing we need to do is allow port 21, which is the port that the server runs on. We need to allow that through the firewall. So I'm running Windows 7 and everything's firewalled by default. So what we're going to do is browse for the FileZilla server program, which is in the program files directory under FileZilla server and FileZilla, FileZilla server.exe. Um, and we're going to allow that on the private network. So now let's switch over to the client computer and we'll create using FileZilla client. I won't explain how to download that, that's very simple. Um, but what we will do on FileZilla client is use the IP address that 10.0.0.7 and port 21 and we'll use the user and the user password that we created to connect from the client to the server. So once we click connect you can see in the right pane the files that are on the server side and in the left pane the files that just are on the local client computer. So we could specify a directory to download a file to, start a download, and that's it.